Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, extra clouds and cooler temperatures over the next couple of days, but fairly quiet. Next chance for wet weather, really not until Thursday. Take a look outside and the well, skies have been varying between partly and mostly cloudy. Looking at Providence right now, the streets are dry. Temperatures that are settling back into the uh, lower to middle 50s, though upper 50s in Providence right now. Taunton's at 59 and New Bedford 58. While it is cooler, Coventry, Smithfield, Glendale, Burrowville at around 55. Looking at 57 Narragansett. You see the arrows. We've had this wind direction now the last several days. Northeast. So it does a couple of things. It will maintain some cooler temperatures next few days, and it does throw back some clouds off the ocean. So like today, tomorrow is mostly cloudy, but every now and then you get some random peaks of sun through the cloud cover. But a, a cool start to the week, uh, meeting you know, your afternoon temperatures next uh, several days that'll be in the well, the middle to upper 60s showers for midweek. And this is specifically very late Wednesday night, but it's more than likely uh, into Thursday. In fact, the daylight hours of Wednesday will stay dry. Watching the tropics, specifically uh, the Caribbean, eventually the Gulf of Mexico for Hurricane Helene to develop. It may be a very strong hurricane with impacts for Florida by Thursday. In fact, uh, the governor of Florida has already issued a, a state of emergency, at least for the west side of Florida, the Gulf side. Uh, we'll show you that in more detail in just a second, but it's pretty quiet across New England. Even some breaks in the overcast, got some showers offshore, a few showers off Toronto. West, but we'll keep things dry. That storm system that gave us the rain on Saturday, over 500 miles now offshore, south and east of Cape Cod, but the circulation around it is so broad that we're still getting a northeasterly breeze, keeping temps cool and throwing back some clouds um, off the ocean. I right, go to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, Florida, Cuba and the Caribbean, and it's this circulation right in here. Hurricane Center is watching for likely development. Uh, it's not a named storm yet, but it does become Tropical Storm Helene sometime tomorrow in the Western Caribbean as it moves into the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, intensifying into a hurricane and perhaps a major hurricane and making landfall somewhere on, this is called the Big Bend of Florida, right in here near Tallahassee. So really anywhere from the Panhandle to Tampa, Florida, all eyes on this storm as it makes its closest approach and landfall sometime on Thursday as a Category 2, a uh, borderline Category 3 hurricane. We'll keep you updated. That remnant moisture, not seeing any indications of that coming our way, so we're going to keep Friday, Saturday, and Sunday dry and mild, but cooler to, uh, cool tomorrow. Cool meaning mid and upper 60s. A lot of clouds, but you can see every now and then there'll be a few peaks of sun through the cloud cover. Morning commute weather-wise looks okay. Good dry roads, good visibility by 11 a.m. under mostly cloudy skies, about 64. And during the afternoon, Mid to upper 60s on east and northeasterly breeze. About 3 o'clock in the afternoon around 66. Bay forecast, mostly cloudy. Northeast wind 10 to 15, gust to 20 knots. Visibility unlimited. If you've been noticing the water temperatures since July and August, slowly cooling down. Water temps now at about 65. Beaches, uh, you've got more clouds than sun and a moderate to high risk of rip currents. The high surf advisory expires at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So the surf may still be somewhat rough. All right, seven day forecast again went in the daylight hours of Wednesday. It looks dry. It's late Wednesday night, but more so Thursday. Some rain moving in temperatures in the upper 60s and back on track for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Not just some sunshine, but milder temperatures getting close to where we should be for this time of year in the lower 70s. So fairly quiet uh, next couple of days despite the extra clouds. All right, Tony, thank you. Coming up next in